Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Mac here. I'm gonna be bringing you a very easy and free game that you can get a thousand gamer score in in about 80 to 90 minutes or about an hour and a half. The game is completely free. It's called NBA 2K17, The Prelude or The Prelude. And you may or may not have to be in the US or Canada in order to download it because it is an NBA game. Completing this game a thousand out of a thousand is incredibly easy, but there is one missable achievement, which is this right here. And there is potential that you won't be able to unlock this achievement. And if you miss the opportunity, you cannot unlock it unless you spend $2 of real money. So I will be explaining that and that's really the only thing you have to worry about. Otherwise, you can literally walk away from your console for the majority of this completion. It's 90 minutes, but that's just how long it'll take you. You barely, barely have to actually play anything. Let's get started with the video on how you're gonna do that. First things first, as soon as you start the game, create a character, give him a first and a last name to unlock your first out of 10 achievements or trophies. We're good. I'll look like this dude. All right, so we're gonna go to my career. Achievement unlocked. After that, just pick any stats you want, watch a bullshit six minute cinematic that you can't skip. Then you'll pick a college team and watch another bullshit cinematic that you can't skip, and you'll unlock an achievement right before your first game. Okay, achievement unlocked. Uh... After that, you'll want to start your first game and watch yet another bullshit cinematic for four minutes before the game actually starts. Now, if you don't want to spend $2 of your real money, this is where it's really important to just pass the ball a lot and play a very easy, conservative game. Just pass the ball as many times as you can to as many of your teammates as possible and try to win the game. Don't miss too many shots and don't take too many three-pointers that you're gonna miss. Score a couple easy baskets if you can and play safe on defense, passing the ball a lot and not actually having much possession in order to get as many virtual coins as possible so you can buy the upgrades you'll need later. Now it doesn't matter if you win or lose or play well or poorly, either way you'll always get all of the achievements and directly after this first match, you'll talk to your friend a bunch and another achievement or trophy will unlock. Before match two, you have a couple of options. If you have a lot of virtual coins, I would recommend going to the My Player menu and buying an attribute upgrade. If you don't mind potentially having to spend $2 of your real money, don't worry about this until later. At this point, all you need to do is play matches two, three, and four, each one unlocking a separate achievement or trophy. Home Sweet Home is for playing in front of your home crowd, which is game two. The Future is Bright is for calling your mom about your future plans after match four. And Can't Do It Alone is given to you after the final match when you talk to your coach about the draft. Now you can play these matches however you want. You can literally just start the match and then walk away from your console and then just come back when the match is done. You can also just play the matches for fun as you would normally play them, which takes a little longer, but also works. Or you can do what I did, which is foul yourself out of every match by mashing the X button on defense when one of the opponents has the ball, creating a foul. Five fouls and you're out of the game and the game ends prematurely. Keep in mind, this will be the fastest way to end the game. However, it will also give you a negative amount of coins, which you might need later on in order to buy an upgrade. Keep in mind that playing a game normally can take over 12 minutes, whereas fouling out can make the games as little as five minutes each. After all those games are done, you'll be brought to a pre-order screen where you have the option to pre-order NBA 2K16 or dismiss. You have to dismiss this in order to be given the option to play a bonus game for Team USA, which is yet another achievement or trophy. The bonus USA versus Australia game is the only game that you're actually allowed to sim to the end and not have to worry about playing or fouling out. Just pause the game and at the top, you should see an option to sim to end. Simming the game to the end will instantly end it and give you the 200 point achievement for completing the game. At this point you have three achievements left. You'll want to back up to the main menu and go to the My Player Store. You'll need to purchase an attribute upgrade which will cost as little as 150 virtual coins but may cost more depending on your stats. If you have the coins, just purchase an attribute upgrade by adding it to your cart and then cashing out. 
However, if you don't have enough coins and you've completed all the matches, you are shit out of luck and you cannot get this achievement unless you buy a $2 real money pack for 5,000 virtual coins. After purchasing an attribute upgrade, you will unlock this off we go achievement or trophy. From then on there, you'll need to equip a custom animation on your My Player. To do this, go into the My Player inventory at the main menu and, ch and choose the NBA Pro-Am animations. Go to the dunks and layups and for dunks one, just choose a new dunk and then save that in order to unlock the achievement after backing out. After that, all you have left is the tutorial which is located at the 2KU section of the main menu. It'll be a 10 minute tutorial and the fastest way to complete it is by sitting at mid court and not doing anything at all, just scrubbing through the prompts as they come up. After 10 minutes, the tutorial will complete and your final achievement or trophy will unlock, netting you 1000 gamer score in about an hour and 20 minutes or less. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to get a thousand gamer score in an absolutely free game that is so incredibly easy. It's laughable. The only thing is that little achievement where you have to buy that upgrade point and you might not have enough coins. Otherwise, just play the game and finish it so easy, so fast. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful and hopefully you subscribe, like, share with a friend, and I'll see you next time. Special shout out to the gigs and Doc Cupcake for the support on Patreon. Peace.